In this tutorial, we'll cover how to create a new user in your GemCloud directory. If you've just created your GemCloud organization, you'll be prompted to add your first user. At any point, you can manually add users by going to the User Management tab in the menu on the left and clicking Users. Here you can see any existing users in your directory. To create a new user, click the plus sign in the top left. There are multiple ways to add new users, but for this demonstration, we'll select Manual User Entry. A slide-out will appear from the right, allowing you to configure user information, security settings, and custom attributes. In this example, we'll create a user, Bob Fay. On the Details tab, I'll add his first name, last name, username, and email address. Additional fields are optional, but I'll point out the Local User Account field, which is useful for binding this user to a local device. To learn more, check out the videos for Account Takeover and User Naming Conventions. Let's move to Security Settings and Permissions. Under Password Settings, you can set an initial password, especially helpful for users whose email address doesn't exist yet. You can also force users to reset this initial password upon next login. Note, this does require you to enable a global org setting to allow for password reset after expiration which can be found under User Security Settings on the left. Alternatively, if you do not specify an initial password, the user will automatically receive an email asking them to set their own password. You can also select the option to never lock this user out of their device, regardless of failed login attempts. By enabling this option, the user can still be locked out of the user portal or other resources, but this may improve end user experience at the device level. Other security settings include requiring MFA and providing permissions like sudo and LDAP bind DN. Whenever you're ready, additional tabs at the top, such as user groups, devices, and directories, allow you to bind this new user to their resources. But this can be done now or anytime in the future. By hitting save, this will create the user in JumpCloud along with sending an email asking the user to set their password, thus activating their account. You'll notice Bob is in a pending state because we're waiting for him to complete this activation process. Bob will receive a welcome email where he can click to set up his account in order to set his JumpCloud password. This will reroute him to console.jumpcloud.com where he can change his first name, last name, and set his password. In this case, if Bob were to set up a password that doesn't meet complexity requirements, he'll see a message asking him to come up with something a bit better. Now that his password is set, Bob can simply hit the register button to activate his account and continue to log in. Now he can log into the user portal with his brand new JumpCloud credentials. From the user portal, Bob can now access any applications you've given him access to, along with all the features available in the user portal. Back in your admin console, you'll now see Bob's status has changed to active, reflecting the successful activation of his account and a healthy user status. For more information about manually creating users, check out our Knowledge Base articles.